So I got a, a video for you today. Uh, this is something that a concept in life, a, a way, a mindset, the way to live your life, a way to think about things, I, I think really fundamentally controls and influences how you live your life and how you see life and whether good things happen to you or bad things happen to you. I was talking with my business partner, Josh Earl, who's running Simple Programmer right now, and he it, we were having this conversation about like things going bad and things going good, right? And I was texting him back and, and I, I took a screenshot from my, my text here because I thought this was a good analogy and I wanted to share this with you guys. And I said that I found that in life, it seems as soon as you climb one step higher, the tide rises a foot right behind you. Two ways to look at it, right? So there's two ways that people fundamentally look at things in life. The first one is one says, I can never get ahead. The other, damn, someone is looking out for me. And I want you to think about this. And I, so I want you to visualize this, right? As soon as you climb one step higher, the tide rises a foot right behind you. So you're getting higher and then all of a sudden the water level's higher. And so it's like you haven't made any progress, right? And like I said, there's two ways to look at this. One of them is the person that says, I can never get ahead. As soon as I get ahead, as soon as I make a little bit of extra money, a new bill comes in. This happens all the time with me with my finances, right? And then the other way of looking at it is as soon as I get a little bit ahead, right? Or, or, or it's actually the backwards way. It's, it's to say that, look, just in time for this calamity, just in time for my car breaking down, I got 500 bucks that I needed to, to, to pay for the car breaking down. Just, just, just in time, like I was able to climb the step just before the lava got to me, just before the tide rose and, and would have taken me out. And, and it's basically this idea that, damn, someone out there is looking out for me. They're, they're, they're making sure that, that I'm never going to drown because as soon as I need that help, as soon as I need to rise one step higher because that tide is coming, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm there. They helped me. I got that 500 bucks I needed, that bonus from work, just as my car was going to break down the very next week. Someone knew that this shit was going to happen. I'm living this semi-charm fucking life, and it's beautiful. That's the second way to view it, right? The first way says, I can never get ahead, and that's the destructive way. That's not the bulldog mindset, my friends. That's the victim mindset. The victim mindset says everything is working against me. The victim mindset has a way of interpreting th these things. And again, with the tide rising, you can view this two different ways, right? There's no wrong and right way to view this. It, it, it's from an objective standpoint, you got to step higher. The water rose behind you just as much as you, as you, ro as you rose up. Now, you have to make the choice. It's all about your perspective. Like I said, you can choose and you can say with the victim mindset that, fuck, I can't get ahead. Every time I try to get ahead, every time I make a little bit of money, every time something good happens in my life, something bad happens, I counteract it and I'm never fucking ahead. That's one way of looking at that. The other way of looking at it is to say, fuck, every time I'm about to get creamed, every time I'm about to get fucked, I'm about to get slammed into the waves, Somehow, magically, I rise above it. Somehow, magically, someone out there is looking out for me and make sure that I make it, okay? And that's the thing is that second viewpoint is the bulldog mindset. This is the viewpoint that I want you to have in life because the first one doesn't serve you. What good does it say to say I can never get ahead? Instead, I look at everything that happens in my life and I say, fuck, this is awesome. This is so awesome. I am awesome. Everything good always happens to me. And guess what happens? Everything good always happens to me. I love it, okay? All the time I, I go around and people are saying to me, fuck, all the time bad shit happens to me. I, it, I always have the worst luck. And not me, I'm like, I have a semi-charm life, right? Remember that Third Eye Blind song? I, I don't know if that's quite the equivalent there. That's a, about like uh, crystal meth or something, but hey, <laughs> whatever, it still fits. I, I do believe that I have a semi-charm life. I believe that everything, as I'm walking down the street, that everything is, is happening for me, that everything happens magically, that, that everything goes my way, and because I believe that, it does. And when I say it does, there's two things that are happening here. One, I honestly believe that really actually good stuff does happen because I believe that, that it makes more good stuff happen. That law of attraction, I attract the good shit because I believe it and because I appreciate it and I have gratitude for what's happening in my life. And two, 
because it's my perspective, even if it's not true, well, I mean, it's objective, but even if more good stuff isn't happening to me, I have developed the habit of interpreting things in that way. And so I can only see it as good stuff, right? I can only see it as good stuff. While other people might have seen it as bad, I interpret all these things. I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah, that's awesome. This is great. Wow, this is awesome. And I'm seeing all these things that other people might say are, are, are harm or are bad things, but I'm seeing them as gifts. I'm like, everyone's giving me gifts all the time. What the fuck is going on? This is so awesome because that's my mindset. And so, like I said, there's two ways that everyone in life interprets things. The one is the first way. When the tide comes up behind them, they say, I can never get a fucking head. Okay, the second one is when the tide comes up behind them and they get that one step higher, they say, someone's looking out for me. Man, this is so awesome. I got just, I got up there right before the lava where it's about to hit my fucking feet, all right? So anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. Again, it's one of the distinctives and be honest with you, be, or be honest with yourself, do you have the bulldog mindset or the victim mindset? If you want a good test for this, okay, I actually have a quiz. Let's go here. We'll put up the card here. Click the card here or click in the link in the description for the Are You a Bulldog quiz. It'll, it'll let you score yourself. I put this up so you can score yourself and, and see where you rate on, on this. Are you a bulldog? Do you have this mindset? Honestly answer this quiz, okay? Honestly answer this, it will determine whether or not you have the victim mindset or the bulldog mindset and you'll know what to work on because of that. And there's some other kind of funner questions in there. But anyway, let me know what your score is. If you take the quiz, post your score below. Let, let's see what your score is. If you're brave enough to post your score, okay? All right, that's all I got for you guys today. If you haven't already, like I said, click subscribe, join the bulldog mindset, become a fucking bulldog. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.